Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the 1984. Kenner Hall of Justice playset. Now this is a really cool playset. It actually packs a lot of features and it doubles as a carrying case. What I found is that most of these playsets that double as carrying cases are pretty lame, but this packs a punch. We're going to talk about all this coming up. So here it is in its closed up base form. This is showing you the front of the Hall of Justice and it's based off of the Cincinnati Union Terminal Building which some people say this Union Terminal Building is going to get used in a future Hall of Justice movie. I don't know, I haven't really heard anything about it but that's some theories floating around. But looking at it, it does look a lot like that building. There's a lot of detail all around here. This stuff is actually raised, not just printed on. Some of the things these days probably wouldn't be etched in just like that turning it to the side you can see it actually on the top here it has stairs so when we do open it up you're gonna see it has some stairs here's a handle when it's closed it is a carrying case it's an awful large version of a carrying case but you could pack quite a few figures in there and it really makes a lot of sense now it does have these clips these clips are kind of delicate now this is the one that actually is going to bend with it so uh, very delicate I actually will take them off when I open it up but moving this around this back part here there is a stencil and the, this is something that was kind of popular back in the 80s and I don't see it so much these days but you just basically take a piece of paper and you take a pencil and you stencil As you can see, I chose to do Superman, and it's really cool. It does look good. Something like a play value for kids that's built into it. That the first time I heard of it, I thought it was kind of silly, but there's also a version of this that is colored. So this, all these characters in here are colored in. Now, I don't know if that was a custom that somebody did that's excruciatingly talented because it looks absolutely perfect, or if the, it was just like a one-time deal that they did a production run of them colored, but I figured I'd show that. Here it is all opened up and it's got some figures in it. And the first thing I want to say is that it always feels like looking at this, you'd kind of want the bad guys on this side and the good guys on this side because you have all of the stuff going on over there. We're going to go into each of the features and look at it really quick, but it is huge. It is big when it's opened up. And when you look at this, quite a bit of stuff that you can do and a lot of different scenes and scenarios you can make. Starting on this side, I'm gonna call it my bad guy side and the bad side of things. There's a few features you have over here. First of all, there is storage for your carrying case and you can put some figures in here. Now, I don't know how well they'd hold. I don't do this myself, so uh, I just know it's a feature and something you can do. There's also like a gel cell, a storage cell, and there are some chairs in there. It actually looks like more of a bench to seat maybe four figures possibly. Lex does look kind of cozy in there, but there's also another feature right over next to it. There is this lever, and it should be able to sort of drop a figure into it with a trap door. There's always a trap door going on. Have you noticed that? It seems like every toy line has a trap door. Let's see that action work. I don't know if my arm completely covered it, but it would trap him in there, and there he's in jail. Still looking at this area, there's a beautiful cardboard cutout there. You see a Statue of Liberty looking thing right there. We also have something here calling it a neutralizer. Maybe you store some stuff in there. And so this side of it, it's kind of fun. Let's look at the middle. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. So looking at the middle segment, like right over here, it's actually supposed to have some stickers on it like this. And I'm still trying to get all my stickers together for it. But anyway, it's supposed to have some stickers on it. And then there's stickers along the sides of the doors and really getting it with all the stickers. 30, 40 years later is kind of tough. There's also some doors that you can go through. Now the doors are yellow on this one. There is a version that's red door, but I don't know, maybe that's just the prototype. I've never actually seen one on eBay or for sale. I just see it in the prototype looking pictures. Also over here, they come with these little cards for each figure so you can slide your card in here for whatever reason that you wanna do it. And also on this side you can see 
This is an elevator that goes up. Uh, this is where you control the elevator. We're going to look at the elevator function from the other side. I'm going to lovingly call this the good guy side. And as you can see, here's the elevator that we saw on the other side. Here are the doors. It's supposed to have all of those stickers, which, again, challenge to get them all. And then looking over here, there's even more stickers over in this section right here. And it's it's got, got Gotham City and some other pictures and like they have computer screens. Uh, they're, they're probably the old school type. They're not LED or LCD or even plasma. Yeah, that's how old this thing is. And it's also got the different clocks for different parts of the world. And that's pretty cool. Looking at the elevator feature, you just simply raise up on the elevator and voila, he's up top. Now looking at up top here, I did point this out. There are steps, so you can step up on this and go over here to your probe one. I think that's what that's called. And so there are some stickers on the landing pad. So it, it is pretty cool. I'm glad that the people took the time to put all the stickers in the right place for the stickers that are here. But it, it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Looks like we got some windows on the side of this thing. So they do think of a lot and they do add a lot to this playset. There are a few things to look at here on this playset. When it comes to this control panel area, you do have some seats where they can sit down and then this uh, detachable red piece for the control panel. It's a computer panel. So this whole thing folds up like a hide -a bed and then you have to unplug this. Now there's places that you can just shove that and store it when you close it all up and all the pieces will fit in there including this landing pad. So looking at all of this it is kind of a fun uh, type of setup and you can set a whole lot of things up. Uh, a lot of interesting play scenarios in here but let's look at what else we can do. We can also carry forward this whole feature of having this as a uh, a carrying case so you can put your figures in there, but they call it a transporter So it's it's like a little transporter Hey, let's put it in here and transport you over to where the action is or whatever But that's kind of a cool play function in a way and I kind of like that Looking at it a little bit better. You can also see an aquatic pool up here, which I'm guessing is where you're gonna put good old Aquaman and then uh, if we can get a little bit lower then you can see there there is a rejuvenating chamber right here and somewhere around here there's supposed to be some sort of the, the kryptonite section. Anyway, looking at this you can detach this piece right here and do some other stuff. Since it simply just clips in, snaps in and snaps out, you could move this around and set it up however you want. You probably set it up something like this so it's a little bit less boring, a little bit more uh, 3D. It would create a better environment or something along those lines. It just seems like a lot of fun where you could say, hey, you know, these, these they're, they're cashing you out at the cash register. So, you know, what are you going to come, come buy some superpower equipment here? Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Since it is indeed modular, you could sort of set it up however you want if you take the little clip pieces off and then you just reconfigure it. Now, again, I have a couple of extra parts and pieces. It usually takes two for me to piece together one whole one. Uh, for a, a cheaper than even buying a new, you know, like a complete one. So anyway, I do like setting stuff up like this, doing things a little bit different, doing things a little bit out of the normal and out of the usual. But when you look at it like this, when it looks like this, this looks more like the building that you see on the cartoon. And so when you do look at it like this and you do see it like the building on the cartoon, it's like, like what it's in my mind. When it opens up, you just completely lose that whole front. And I don't like that. That's one of the downsides of this. I do like the look of the front. I wish there was some way they incorporated that. If there was doors or something in there, I think that would have been a whole lot better. But that's really my only complaint about this is that, that you just lose this whole front, the whole hall of justice when you open up your hall of justice. Meanwhile, at the hall of justice. I sure hope you enjoyed my look at the Kinner Hall of Justice playset from 1984. Very colorful, vibrant, and fun. A lot of features. A lot more than I thought there'd be in this old, old playset. But, you know, Kinner always had some play and features in mind when they put any toy into production. And it shows even in this toy line. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe. Turn to your hanger. Out.